Explain the importance that M2, the monetary aggregate, is plunging straight down back near zero. Well, the growth is plunging, but boy, Tom, you're right to pick up on this, and I like to keep on it. Uh, last year, money growth was uh, almost 30 percent, and that's, I think, why inflation picked up so much. You could put it different ways, like we had the stimulus checks uh, and quantitative easing and the bottlenecks, but you could just go to a Milton Friedman uh, cut at it. But now that's come way down, uh, and uh, that, I think, explains why inflation is slowing. So right now we have a race uh, about three months uh, before the funds rate will be over the bond yield, uh, which would be a classic inverted yield curve. You already have the 210, as you mentioned, inverted. Uh, and so it, it looks to me as though the economy is doing fine now, but it's going to slow and inflation is going to slow significantly. There is a Actually, both are going to slow significantly. There is a divide, Ed Hyman, between, let's say, Mohammed El Arian and Bill Dudley and Lawrence Summers suggesting we need an aggressive Fed to get us anchored again in our price change and others saying, calm down. Ed Yardeni was on the other day, your former colleague at C.J. Lawrence, and Yardeni is, everybody calm down. They're going to move and look at the data. If Powell moves after this meeting and he observes the data, what's he going to see in six months? Uh, it's really three months that I'm focused on, but six months is okay, too. Uh, I think the economy is going to look slower. Unemployment is going to be 4% or a little bit higher. But most importantly, inflation is coming in a lot slower than I've been expecting. Uh, not the headline numbers yet. Uh, but commodity prices, for example, anecdotal is coming in. Uh, every day I'm getting evidence uh, that there is a slowdown. There's an article today uh, that airfares are back below $300. Uh, so in three months, uh, which is when the Fed is going to have the funds rate at 3%, uh, I think that they'll be seeing uh, quite a bit slower inflation. The issue is going to be uh, for uh, our shop or for Bill Dudley, is there enough progress to slow down the rate of increase uh, in the funds rate? Ed, have we already seen the shock in financial markets uh, among all, amid all of this uh, gloominess, amid all of this negativity, as we've seen for this earnings season, that stocks have managed to rally even with not screamingly amazing uh, returns and earnings? Sure. The, uh, uh, first off, the Fed has gotten a lot of bang for their buck, one of which is that the drop in stock market uh, has pushed down consumer net worth, uh, which puts a drag on consumer spending. Uh, but there's a, a pretty good chance, uh, like you're implying, I think correctly, they said that, uh, that this has already been discounted. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm scared to go too far down that road because the Fed is going to uh, tighten. And the question today is whether or not they give a little bit of room to tighten, to slow down the tightening uh, in the next few meetings. So what's the variable right now, Ed, that would mean that, that we have not yet seen the financial shock, that it hasn't been baked in? Because if people are looking at a slowdown in earnings, a slowdown in consumer spending, a Fed that tightens too much and then retraces, a lot of that has been priced in. That's what people say. And we get these results. They're OK. And people rally. At what point do we think maybe the narrative is different? So I think in three, three, in three months, <laughs> it's, it's, we're on a, on a track here that's going to end uh, when funds get to three, and we'll look around and see yeah. uh, if there's a change. Now, the economy's been stronger, than, I think, than people realize. Earnings in the first quarter uh, were up at about a, almost a 10% annual rate. Mm -hmm. And working with Julian Emanuel, like you mentioned, Tom, uh, looks like they'll be up something close to 5% quarter to quarter annual rate in the second quarter. Ed, uh, your, your dress attire is very good for the summer, uh, uh, the summer session here. I know you're wearing flip flops this morning. For those of you on radio, <laughs> behind Ed Hyman is a spectacular boat model, which looks like the Endeavor of 1934. Uh, to me, Ed, you're out in the Hamptons, and the bottom line, as you note in your research note, the Hamptons rental market is absolutely tanked. What does that symbolize to you? Uh, I could go on about 25 examples like that, Tom, and I'm big on putting the dots together. And I think the uh, tanking in uh, the rental market in the Hamptons in August 
uh, is just one sign that we need to take into account uh, that the Fed tightening so far and the slowdown in the money supply and the increase in the mortgage rates and the decline in consumer net worth is all having an impact.